Let's see now. Jim Riley, Joe like Harry Race, Bernard like Chance, DJ Dave, Perlita Quinwell, Nelton Anderson, Don Wiley, Jim Hall, Bill Duvall, 1961, Oyster Cracker Man, Bitted Bat for Blue Boy Boxes, Robo Rapist Knight, Red Randy, Red Gordon, and El Rays, and then All American. See now, see Horizon's White Truck, the military, and the, and the Coast Guard, and the police officers, firefighters, and the tech companies. And NASA now know the waves of cowboy country and westerns that have always been attacking them. And Ellery's three feet three peat tube of lies after they stole the dials and changed things all around. The hand me down story. See, Harry has a white truck. Country and Western and there's favoritism towards Perlita Jones, Quinn Wands, and the, the Robo Knight and Dave. See? This is why you don't want to do it that way. Oh, they were dressed in black, all white. And then they are supposedly the pink Indian, cowboy Indian story. They start to find out, David, that you're nothing but a grifting, lying thief. Ellery stole it. Then you guys set up tubes. Went to Joe. Joe stole it. Back and forth. Pop click. You're not a bit. Then steal a little bit. They just start to find out the groups of cowboy hillbilly waves that move through. So now, see, this is good tactical intelligence for the Navy. The firefighters, the police officers, and Coast Guards of the world. See? Because now from Michigan, we find out Joe's obsession, Harry's obsession, over certain girls and boys, Jamaica Street, Pickett Street. And you know, it always comes to, if something's not properly working, it generally is in the hands of people it doesn't belong to. And that's the way it's always been. The perpetual risk game. And the more and more of you hear the rumor of the prison story and so on and so forth. Yes, a long time ago it once did work, but they killed the child to do it. So again, Joe, your personal war with me or the or the, or the nephew or the daughters or Greg Faust's sons or the Bailey Kateers or the, K the Beswicks or the Godfreys or the Schwartzes is revealed. So you actually give an advantage to the military youth of today and other entities who wish to circumvent all of the waves of the hillbilly fight because they do it based on country and western and trucks. See, now we figure out who Ellery possibly communicated with or Elton and the churches and we now know who runs the con at Scam and Grift and the waves of attack on the military bases. And then the children those older men lied about so they could sleep with girls or boys and the fegatory story of the Bidded Bee Ellery and the Robo Knight and Joe and your special, you know, affliction for them, Joe, Harry, and Bernard, and that's what you get to have, Robo whispering faggot fire amount, because the first ones weren't based upon the prison story. The prison story comes in when the framing and getting people in trouble and all that stuff comes in. So, to build a more effective, successful military engine, and police officers and firefighters and, you know, intelligence group, see, we can match it, Horizons, Horizons, the techno song, Horizons, see, they took my swirly video, and um, Horizons of Israel, right? So we now know, and we start to equalize intelligence power of the United States to the other nations. And then we find out who the head leader is, who seems to still think he's God or Jehovah of the Earth, but he's really a delusional psychopath with Perlita Jones, Quinwans, and the Yahoo team of Karen Faust and Don Wiley. And they never were, because like I said, they're the ones that screwed it all up. Oh, the white children walking around, or the, you know, the robots. It's your constant repeat abuse, Perlita, which doesn't work. You just get off on it with your little, you know, faggotory friend. And you're not as great with him as you think. So when you keep doing that shit and you want to run a dictatorship like you've announced with Texas or Mexico or Spain or wherever you go, Perlita, you know, you look like a fool because other people evolved past it. And nobody wants to hear a man go, shh in a computer system forever. So they put you in the can that you think you love and your obsession of the blue cans and the blue boxes, Robo Knight, Bernard Lachance of the BB4 Carney and the ghetto life and all that stuff. And so people get to watch the outburst of you Negroes and all that still play spray painting and all this and that. But really, it was the own prison of your own design, ladies and gentlemen, trying to get into something that was never completed fully a long time ago because a lot of people argued and fought over it. And you guys want to fight for your civil rights to be a part of it. But you have to fix the problems that you all create. And now you're $19 trillion in debt to the, you know, all-American hillbilly LGBT fag fan club freedom of rainbow, which they stole and the plane, see, it goes back to you, all American in the plane, killing the blue boy, 
put in denial, all American oyster cracker man or whoever. And that's why things are out of sync. That's how far down they threw him down for that. They knew all of us right away that you killed the kid. And then they come up with your story. Um, Ellery's and them. Q killed Kim, this and that. The more and more you guys do that shit, the worse it gets. You can't just put in an acting show of La Carne Bernard and hope it fixes everything. It makes you look dumb. Because it doesn't sink into what really happened in Michigan or Washington, which he took the kid up, Taco Chico, Joe did, or Colorado, or Utah, or half the other states I've been in. So it's more reliable if, you, you know, they check in my background and go, oh, he was in all these other places, and then watch the groups of you lie for the Negro story, and that's why you don't want to lie, Negroes, because nothing happened, but then you rely on a rumor, rumor, or a spying, or another Negro telling you a false story, and then they're all running around, and then guess what? They're caught in their own prison because they're liars that the prison they created, like in Africa, they did the same thing here because they were liars over there and liars over here. So it's not really a civil rights protest to survive, Perlita, because you screwed me over, the Rothschilds, the Hiltons, the Bowmans, the Kennedys, the Schwartzes, I mean, tons of people, the Beswicks, all this. So your story in Arizona or wherever you popped out from here or Colorado, Perlita, in your inbreed circle is a lie. And you know, that's what happens when you get a dictating moron coming up through cities like the small fry knight and his egotism or Joe or Harry in the showboat of the fellow fag of those times before and fuck up everybody's shit. So that's the reality you all go with because you guys committed your crime spree instead of listening to the ones that it really worked for. So yes, you stole it, David. And you have the three or four hacks or the tubes to prove it. And you know, the number of children. And then your supposed hero that guided you all through, you know, your racist need. All white. White teepees. White. Not good. Not good for black or white. Because guess what? It installed your godliness there, Bernard, but it only served the four of you, and it means you're a faggot fake who went after Jehovah's Witnesses, Jews, and whoever else, the Russians, and anybody else that liked techno music that was similar to DJ Sasha, or whatever, or if they wanted to be a DJ, and it wasn't Dave Balamorad in the center of it, because you're a faggot, Bernard and Harry Joe. That's, I mean, that's your love circle. We found love. Okay, Perlita, you found love. But it's a mess because you're a lie. You're not my sister. And you're not my wife. They killed us a long time ago, Perlita. And cloning it in, Karen, Harry, Joe, doesn't fix it because her and I are not together, huh? You know, that's how things change. That's why you don't want to kill people, Joe, to fuck up to other people, Harry, Joe. And then you know, oh, that was the one who was mine. Okay, you can have all of them, Joe. But it's still a lie, and that's not a life to live. That's what fucked it up. Your teeth, all this shit. Because you're torturers. And now, the military and the police and the firefighters know you did it three or four times in a row, Joe. Making you the dumbest shit in the fucking planet.